It is now time for today's flip side where we take a look at a story behind the headlines and there was an event at the White House yesterday that rightfully got a lot of attention. First Lady Michelle Obama and Dr. Joe Biden welcomed military families as they kicked off a new initiative to honor America's service members. But the event also gained attention for a notable absence. Can you explain why months after signing the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, um, the White House didn't allow representatives of gay military families to attend today's event? I, I actually uh, don't uh, have anything for you on that. I will take that question, not aware of it. Well, the First Lady's communications office later released this statement saying the administration is moving forward with the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. It still remains the law. The White House looks forward to working with the families of gay and lesbian service members after certification occurs. For us, it was a good reminder to check back on the progress of that repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And we found this update by General James Amos of the Marine Corps given to Congress just last week. Readiness and combat effectiveness is personal to our Marine leadership. Uh, and in that regard, we've not seen any, any drop in it. But again, we are, we are in the implementation stage right now. Uh, but my expectations are the truth of the matter is I don't, I don't think we're going to see a drop in it. Now, other top officials from the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force also testified that training to implement this policy would be completed as early as June. But we thought it was worth noting that gay and lesbian service members exist already and that they should be part of that meeting.